a bittersweet moment. I'm oh, sorry. It is Monday, the day before graduation, and I am packing up my room, ready to go home. Um, I'm still not done. I have my EME event management evaluation today at 4 p.m. So this is the best time for me to just pack up everything and then do that and be able to chill for the rest of the day. My mom is flying in today, but actually she's flying into Fort Lauderdale and her and my aunt are driving down tomorrow morning for the graduation. So I'm happy. Like, I'm just happy it's almost over. My wings shall be earned, hopefully by 5 p.m. today. And I can go home and start flying soon, probably by the beginning of the month. Hopefully we'll see what my schedule looks like and when I should actually report to New York and all those things. So, I'm just going to, yeah, pack up my room, make sure it's all nice and clean and Make sure I have all my belongings. I have a few items in the wash. Um, and watch Game of Thrones while I do this. I'm going to study with my EME group a little later today. Just to go over just some, a few last things. Make sure that we're good on everything we need to know. And that's about it. So, talk to y'all later. That's out of us. Playing with cranes. Oh my God, did you see them? They had a baby. Walking in. No, they had <laughs> Graduation is tomorrow and I will get pinned and I will go home and then eventually go to New York. I'm just happy. Like, I don't have any other feeling other than happy right now. Uh, I guess I can go over the EME. Um, it was honestly a little bit stressful. We had all new instructors um, that were evaluating us and, you know, like I've told y'all in the past, everybody has specific little things that they look for and do things differently so unfortunately we had to do it twice and honestly it pissed me off <laughs> it ticked me off so bad like I was just I was over it I was so over it because the few little things that we messed up on it was like they were so minute like things that other instructors would have never even mentioned well not that they wouldn't have mentioned them but it I just don't think it would have been as big of a deal for us to have to actually do a full retake a uh, go again a try again whatever they call it so um, it's over and done now um, we had to do the retake we did great on it the second time so that was good. And then we um, did, remember I think I, I know I mentioned to y'all actually that we have another plane that we fly, the A321, Airbus 321, but we've never learned it or trained on it during training. 
we had an ILT over that today <laughs> after the EME, which just really threw me for another loop because I was so ready to be done. So we did our EME after all those small little frustrations. We had to go and learn the A321, which was super quick and easy. We just learned the differences between the doors and how to open it and close those doors and um, disarm and arm the. So the two instructors that did that, they were so nice, so good. Um, he stayed after a little bit with me and my crew and asked um, how we were feeling. He could tell that we were a little frustrated from coming from the EME. Gave us a wonderful pep talk, super, super sweet. Um, definitely made me glad because Honestly, I was really feeling like, you know, I'm just over this. Like, we've been here so long. And I just really felt like they were dragging out that EME to, to be more than what it even needed to be. I was frustrated. I was honestly very, very frustrated. And I don't, haven't even really been like that through training until today. And I was just like, look, give me these wings <laughs> so I can go home. But... Um, the talk that he gave us really just changed my entire mood and went from this to this. I'm a Gemini, so my moods can definitely go from this to this. <laughs> um, but I was, yeah, I was just glad that he talked to us because I didn't want to end training on a, a down note or just like a, I'm just ready to go. I wanted to be happy about graduation tomorrow, and I wasn't feeling that after the EME. But after talking to him, you know, it just it re it relit the fire in me to just be happy and proud of myself and you know, be able to just appreciate that I've accomplished this dream of mine, finally. So, yeah, that's really about it. That was it. That was it. I'm ready for tomorrow morning. We have to be up at 7.30. We have our base orientation in the morning. So, the crew supervisors, them flight crew supervisors from JFK are coming here tomorrow. And they're going to talk to all 70 of us and tell us the ins and outs and the who's and what's and all of that tomorrow morning at 7.30 and then graduation is at 12.30. Um, so I got to pack my stuff up and go because I'm trying to get up out of here at trying to catch a flight at 3.05 tomorrow. <laughs> so I don't have any time to come back to this room and play no games. I got to go. But yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our newest JetBlue graduating in-flight class, class number 1017. Ladies and gentlemen, some very excited people outside waiting to come in. Let's give them a big round of applause. Men. Boys to men, we can do it too. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Ready? 
We rolled up with the crew about seven or eight. We yelled to the AO, Sky, na 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 na. This jump C did the 30 second review. We made it to PA, the old Jet Blue. I've been missing this one little place, my sanctuary, my pup pup. Denver, come here, mama. My other pup pup. So, thank you all for watching all those videos and listening to me vent throughout the process of earning my wings. I have completed that. A lot of you have asked me if I'm going to carry on and do more vlogs throughout just the rest of this career of mine and I do plan on doing that um, might be a little different from what you're used to looking at but those are my plans so I'm gonna take these four days to rest enjoy my family enjoy my favorite boy because we missed each other <laughs> and I'll see y'all in New York mm -hmm.